Hello and welcome to Learn English with Tangmation. Today's topic is Imperial Units and Measurements. Before we get started, as always, don't forget to like and subscribe. Okay, let's go. If you ever came to visit an English-speaking country, like the USA or the UK, you have probably noticed that they still use their old imperial measuring system, which may be confusing to you. All the pounds, stones, inches and gallons are units that you may not be familiar with. We created this video to help you understand them. You will learn the imperial units and measurements for length, weight, fluid, surface area and temperature. Let's start with the first one. Imperial units and measurements for length. The common imperial units for length are inches, feet, yards and miles. We'll start with inches. We usually use inches for general measurements. The symbols for the unit are 1 inch equals to 2.54 centimeters. If someone says my new phone is about 6 inches, this means that the phone is about 15 centimeters tall. Please note that all the figures in this video are calculated approximately since it is not a maths lesson. Okay, next. Feet. We usually use feet to describe someone's height. The symbols for the unit are and one foot equals to 12 inches. It also equals to 30.48 centimeters in a metric system. So if someone says he is about six foot tall, it means that he is about 1.8 meters tall. Yards. We usually use yards to measure longer lengths. The symbol for this unit is this. And one yard equals to three feet. It also equals to 91.44 centimeters in the metric system. So if someone says, my garden is about 10 yards wide, it means that it is over 9 meters wide. Okay, now miles. We usually use miles to measure long distances when we travel. The symbol for the unit is this. One mile equals to 1760 yards. It also is approximately 1.6 kilometers in a metric system. So if someone says, I traveled 100 miles yesterday, it means that they approximately traveled 160 kilometers. Miles are also used when measuring a vehicle speed. So if someone says, I traveled 125 miles per hour yesterday. It means that his speed was approximately 200 kilometers per hour. Okay, let's move on to the imperial units and measurements for weight. The common imperial units for weight are pounds, stones, and ounces. We'll start with ounces. We usually use ounces when cooking, 
so it is common to see this unit in cooking books. The symbol for this unit is this. And one ounce equals to 28.34 grams in a metric system. So if a recipe says, add two ounces of flour, it means that you will need to add just a bit over 50 grams of flour. Okay, pounds. We usually use pounds to measure someone's weight, but also when buying food. The symbol for this unit is this. One pound equals to 16 ounces. It also equals to 0 0.45 kilograms in a metric system. So if you see a label saying three pound for two pounds of apples, it means that you will get almost one kilogram for the three pounds. Next, stones. We usually use stones to measure someone's weight. The symbol for the unit is this. One stone equals to 14 pounds. It also equals to 6.35 kilograms in a metric system. So if your friend says, Yay, I've lost two stones. It means that she's lost over 12 kilograms. Okay, let's now move on to the imperial units and measurements for fluid. The common imperial units for fluid are pints and gallons. We'll start with a pint. We usually use pints when measuring the volume of a liquid. The symbol for the unit is this. And one pint equals to 0 0.56 litres in a metric system. So if someone says, I drank two pints of beer yesterday, it means that they drank over one litre of beer. Next, gallon. We usually use gallons when measuring a larger volume of liquid especially when buying petrol or when measuring the fuel economy. The symbol for this unit is this. And one gallon equals to eight pints. It also equals to 4.54 liters. So if someone says, I just bought four gallons of petrol, it means that they bought just over 18 litres of petrol. Miles per gallon are used when measuring vehicles' fuel economy. So, if someone says, My car fuel consumption is about 60 miles per gallon. It means that his car fuel consumption is close to 4 litres per 100 kilometres. Okay, let's now move on to the imperial units and measurements for surface area. The common imperial unit for surface area is square foot. We usually use square feet when measuring surface area of a room or a whole floor plan. The symbols for the unit are these. And one square foot equals to 0 0.09 of a square meter in a metric system. So if someone says, she lives in a 650 square foot apartment, it means that her apartment measures about 60 square meters. Now we can move to imperial units and measurements for temperature. The common imperial unit for temperature is Fahrenheit. It is commonly used in the US. The symbol for the unit is this. 
Here is the formula to convert this to degrees Celsius. The temperature in Fahrenheit, minus 32 in brackets, times 5 divided by 9. I know, it's quite a hassle, so instead see this table with some common temperatures. So if the weather forecast says it will be 68 Fahrenheit across the country, it means that it will be 20 degrees Celsius across the country. The last thing we need to mention is that although imperial systems are common in the UK and the US, this doesn't mean that the metric system is not used there at all. In the UK, for example, you will find a mixture of metric and imperial systems in use, whereas in the US, almost everything is measured using imperial systems, only with some exceptions. Okay, so now that we know all the common units and measurements of imperial system, it's the time for a test. Can you match the symbols with the names of the measurements? Length, weight, fluid, surface area, temperature. Okay, you will now have 10 seconds to complete this. But as always, don't worry, you can pause the video if you need to. Okay, let's go. Okay, time is up and let's see if you got it right. So, we have length, inch, foot, yard, mile, weight, ounce, pound, stone, fluid, gallon, pint, surface area, square foot, and temperature, Fahrenheit. So, did you get it right? If you did, then well done! Today's topic was imperial units and measurements. We really hope you enjoyed the video. See our YouTube channel to learn more about the English grammar and vocabulary. And as always, don't forget to subscribe. So, until the next time.